Okay, here's Meg here. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go out for a little ride down Sierra a little bit, and then we're gonna turn around and go back down the hill. I'm just gonna go to like a kind of a picture spot, and then that'll be it. So, man, I'm really tempted to take this on the mountain bike trails here. There's a lot of mountain bike trails here. And they're pretty, they would be awesome to go ripping on them. <laughs> this bike. I can see one right here. But uh, I don't think they would... Uh... Actually, I will look at the rules. Let me see if there... I'm pretty sure there's something that says there are no motorized vehicles on the trails, you know. But anyway, just going to take a quick ride. Um... Along Sierra Road here, this is the this is the one laner section of of uh whoa, this is the one lane section. Stay right, stay alive. <laughs> this is the this is the right lane section of uh um, I mean that's the right lane. This is a single lane section of uh, Sierra Road right here, and it can it takes you to a road called Felter Road. And we're just gonna take a little cruise down here. It's beautiful out here right now. It's nice and sunny, and the grass is still green here. We had a quite a rainy uh, winter here in the Bay Area. It's beautiful out here. I would love to go ripping up on those those ranch roads out there. <laughs> so I think this the greatest thing about this bike is it's so light and it's off-road capable. You can just go out here on the side of the road, no problem, you know. But don't worry, next week we will take this bike at to Mount Calf and we're we'll uh We'll put it through its paces in the off-road environment. All right, so this is a section that you probably want to slow down, especially around that blind corner there. This is not a place I like to drive cars, that's for sure. But it's so narrow, you can just park it anywhere, man. I just, I feel like I could stop literally anywhere I wanted. Um, I wouldn't do that on a motorcycle, you know. You'd be afraid you'd drop it or something, or it's kind of, you know, it's kind of unwieldy, but this bike is so light, you know. I feel like if I wanted to get off on the shoulder, on a dirt shoulder, I could, you know. And plus it's a, you know, it's a dirt bike, so. We'll just ride it to the, there's this one corner that I like to stop and take pictures at. That was, that was a good uh, left turn there. Hayes Meg is not good at left turns, I'll tell you that. Wide open up this section, and I think this is it right here. Okay, this is the last part I wanted to. It says no parking, but hey man, a motorcycle will fit here, no problem. See, it's a bicycle, it's a bicycle. <laughs> Look at that beautiful view though. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so we're at 60 percent state of charge. Here's my Oh, okay. Here's me here. I, I never went over how many miles it was we, we rode. So we're eight eight and a quarter, eight point two six miles what we got right now, and we're at six uh sixty percent, so that tells you ten miles. You can probably go like 20 miles if you're just ripping on this thing. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Before the battery is at like zero percent, and you don't want to run it to zero percent. Okay. So this is the downhill portion of the. Uh, this will be part of the downhill portion of uh, the uh, Sierra Road vlog. It's beautiful out here. Oh, look at it. Right. So far we've got eight and a quarter mile on the on the trip. So. So we will just monitor those, and the, and we're at 60% right now. So right now, I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to ride it normal. We're not going to go super fast, but we're not going to go super slow either. You know, I see a car coming. I hope he sees me. So I'm coming around this corner. There he is. I see him. Let's get to this uh, wider area here. It goes over to bumps, no problem, man. I don't feel anything. So, oh yeah, you know, I never went over that. I never went over that uh, on the uphill portion. 
Um, I thought the suspension handled everything fine. Like I said, there's a little bounce. Oh yeah, I didn't set the compression yet. There's a little bounce. Uh, I get a little bounce when um, the back feels a little bouncy when uh, when, I, when I go over a big bump. But uh, yeah, it's uh, not bad. I will go set. I will actually go set the preload right. Uh, not the, I will set the compression. I will like put it up like two clicks or something. I don't know. Just give it a little more compression. It feels like it's it's a little too soft still. Yeah. I mean it, it absorbs it fine, but it just feels like you know it's, it's getting it's getting a little out of control a little bit. Yeah. See, I can feel it. It's oscillating. Hey, we can go up here. Alright, so I'm gonna go increase the, the rear preload, uh, the rear compression a little bit. I'm not really sure how to do it. I think it's this blue one up here. And the sad thing is, it's already at full, uh, I think it's at full thing already. So we've been riding with a full compression. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's already, that's it. That's all it can give me, man. The suspension still feels a little bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. All right, well, let's see if it'll go through this uh, dirt section here. <laughs> no problem, somebody was driving, driving their like four by four up there. Yeah, I did get to do some dirt fun today, see? Okay, here we are. Alright, for research purposes, we are at 57%. Okay, we started at the uphill, back at the parking lot, 57%. We're at 9, almost, we're 9.4 miles, 57%. So we'll remember, just remember 57%. When we get to the bottom, we'll see what we get. I'd imagine it's going to be really good. Um, it was 20% on the way up. Uh, yeah, it, it gobbled up about 20%, so we'll see how much it eats up going down. I'd imagine it's probably not going to eat up anything. Uh, um, uh, my guess will be, we'll still be like 50% when we get to the bottom. So, here we go. Let's try to keep the speed under, under 36 miles an hour. How about that? So we're just coasting, we're just coasting, coasting, coasting. It is regening right now too, so let's just go let it do its thing. We're still 57%, a squirrel just ran by. A little bumpy. That feels good. Fifty-seven percent still, okay. That was the, that was one of the steeper parts of Sierra right there. So now we're probably gonna start eating up a little bit, but. 34 miles an hour. Okay, it's gonna start going down again. Downhill action on Sierra with the Suron light beam. <laughs> Doing good, doing good. I'm just we're using the regen coasting. It's, it's working pretty good to slow us down. We're going 32 miles an hour. The goal will be to not use the brakes at all. So we got a 15 mile per hour corner coming up. I think we're gonna have to use the brakes. I'm just gonna let it co uh, just re coast down. And okay, not bad. Oh, okay, we're gonna slow down here. <laughs> I know we probably could have pushed it a little harder. <laughs> we took that turn about 30 miles an hour, so. <laughs> well, I know it says 15, right? So I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> pretty conservative, if you ask me. Uh, that speed limit. Look your turn, lean, push, there you go. Yeah, my wrist is starting to hurt. So we're leaning forward so much. Okay, we're at 56%. Okay, we went down 1%. Time to 
Don't touch that line, it's slippery. All right, I'm just gonna let it coast down this. I might drag the rear brake around this corner. Give it a little front, okay, here we go. Oh, we're good, we're good, keep it, keep it going. There we go. Held the line pretty good there. There's a vulture in the road. Hey buddy, I don't want to inter interrupt your meal. Eating that squirrel that we saw. It's the circle of life. That's where there's a garbage can out there. Like people, like they want people to hang out here. <laughs> okay, we're going pretty fast. We're going 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hang off a little bit. There you go. And hear that regen working hard, that little whining sound. Here as we go down, that's the regenerative braking. I wish it was stronger. I wish there was a way you could tune it, you know? I wish there was like a little button. A little drag the rear brake a little bit there. Because I can. Put some water on the roadway here. I don't know from what. Beautiful views, San Jose up here. I feel like I could stop this bike anywhere and take a picture, man. It's like, I can get out of any ditch with this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I felt the front like kind of floating right there. Not very confidence inspiring. There is a, there is a part you can do a wheelie here or get some air. See if we can get some air, but it's a little dangerous because it you can go straight off the road. <laughs> oh, right here, I think. Ah, nope. There's a speed bump here. There we go. That was the that was the jump section. It, it can do it. Maybe if I had if you give it a little more balls, man. <laughs> you had a little more. Yep, ha hardly having to use throttle at all. Slow down a little bit. We're going 32 miles an hour. Handling the bumps just fine. I guess, you know, when you get to a big bump, you're just going to have to stand, dude. It's This is not even that big a bump, man. This is like dual sport. This is where you would want to ride a dual sport, you know, or supermoto. Perfect for supermoto. Okay, we're probably gonna brake real hard here. <laughs> brake, 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 brake. There you go. All right, 32 miles an hour, 33. Just gonna let it coast down. We'll see what we get. So far, we're at 56%. Why don't I tell you, man? We're, we're gonna eat any power up. Well, we're not quite at the bottom yet. We'll see if we can maybe get to 57%. We're doing 27 miles an hour with no throttle. It's okay. I don't want to go too fast. I, I on the motorcycles, I usually go too fast on this. <laughs> we go through all the bumps. Who cares, man? Yeah, we're riding a dirt bike. <laughs> All right, almost at the bottom, almost at the bottom. We'll give you the stats. Oh, 30 miles an hour. All right, we made it to, that's, that's it. That's pretty much the bottom right there, man. So we got 56%, we went down 1%. So I think that 1% is just, you know, those couple sections I had to twist the throttle because it was, it was flattening out a little bit. Whoa, whoa, that guy just ran a red light. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that guy just ran a red light. <laughs> that guy just ran a red light, you see that? <laughs> Hello. He's like, oh yeah, I think it's, I think, uh, I think uh, this thing is, uh, it's a stop, it's a stop sign when, uh, when I stop. Hopefully uh, this thing will turn green, I don't think it will. But there's a dude over here, so. Hopefully it'll it'll change. So it was a uh, 9.4 miles. It was 9.4 miles at the top. 
if you remember correctly. And uh, so that would be uh, 0.6103. 0.6103. Point six and three. So three point six. That was it's about three and a half miles ish from the top to the bottom. And uh, we didn't eat any power coming going down it. So, so there you go. That shows you the difference between going uphill and downhill in an EV dude.